I realized when I took all those centipedes around my childhood home and would remove their legs individually slowly and pour various different chemicals on them just to measure like and note their responses you know how long does bleach take to kill it how long does windex take to kill it in what ways does it twitch and jerk if i'm you know pouring some brawn on it you know i knew in that in those moments as i watched it squirm and as i felt its life leave its tiny robotic insectoid body that i was actually god you know what i mean yes yes i do my son yeah, that was good for my development. That was good for my social skills. You know, I think torturing bugs should be a class for all developing children. You think so? I think that's I think it's a good idea. Yeah. Torturing bugs. And then if you like it, you can move on to small, you know, rodents as one does frogs. OK. All right. You move on from insects to reptiles first. Snakes, frogs. I mean, I know those are amphibians, but, you know, toads. What what point do you get to small the mammals? Lizards. Oh, after that, I see. So yeah. that's intermediate is is small lizards and, and amphibians, and then we move up to squirrels, gerbils, rats. Scorpions would be in the introductory course. I'm telling Dad that we should have that all children should have a torturing small animals curriculum. Yeah, well, no, for you start off with insects, and then you move up to lizards, amphibians, like I done. And then you, you know, you go to from there to small rodents, animals, eventually. And now we're talking high school level here. That's when you're moving up to cats and dogs. And I then see. if you want it, if you want to do, you know, if it's if this is a passion that you have and you want to keep pursuing it, then you will move on to human beings in college. Well, really, that's a postgrad. You just learn about it. Yeah, in you learn anatomy. Your undergrad. You go to the operating theater and see and and observe which tendons and arteries can be cut which way or right, right, right. Know. But it does become your postdoctorate thesis. Yeah, to kill a man, you have to take another or a woman, a human. You have to hunt a person, and you that's know? your master's. Yeah, and get away with it. It can only and be that's your postdoc. Yeah, it can only be revealed. You know the method. The, the amount of preparation, the stalking, this, that. Hey, does anybody in undergrad want a, undergrad want a dog that they want to practice on right now? I got one. <laughs> you don't want to kill Lucifer. See, you didn't, I, I didn't even have to name which dog. And yeah. yet, then I knew. Yeah. Well, don't kill Moose. He's a good boy. Look, yeah. it's not his fault that he started smoking at an early age and that he continues to smoke even now. Mm. At a certain point, it does become his fault. Yeah. Yeah, okay. he has to take responsibility. Anyway, um, you know, what are you up to, dude? What's going on with you? What's going on in your world? Well, first of all, let's take a moment to recognize that it's been a while since we've conversed. It's been a while. It's been a long time. It's been a while since right. I exposed two different myself directions on with that. that beach and then got a lifetime suspension. It's been a while. That's not how that goes. I'm going to go back there. <laughs> I'm going to go back there and expose myself again. That's not how that goes. I know. I know that's not how it goes. But it and has been a while. I pull out my genitals <laughs> on that sand into the... All right. Okay. All right. So keep going. Yeah, you that's... know how I get, man. Speaking of genitals, I'm going to order Olive Garden for dinner. Do you want anything? I am being a good boy. So okay. So no, thank you. All right. Great. I don't know what Olive Garden has to do with genitalia, however. That's because you haven't worked there. Yeah. All right. Well, true. I mean, breadsticks resemble genitalia of a sort. Yeah. Yeah. And it does feature the bottomless tossed salad. So. Yeah. Okay. Which is what they make now you do in county. It. Yeah. <laughs> Which is what they make you do to what? In, in county. <laughs> in county. <laughs> yeah, they make you toss the salad. Bottomlessly. <laughs> Fucking God. Uh, yeah, bottomlessly, <laughs> Daffy Duck style. You know what I mean? Or Donald Duck. Whichever one doesn't wear pants, neither of them wear pants. <laughs> Whatever duck you want, go and duck yourself. We, okay. Yeah, we here at the county jail are committed to finding whatever duck operation works for you while you're eat while we're feasting on your butt. <laughs> okay. Feast well, on your butt. <laughs> All right. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing at that. That's so childish and juvenile. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why. That is what why. Else? What else is in the news? 
Um, I got COVID, man. That's what's in the news. Fucking yeah. got oh, sick, yeah. dog. I mean, the holidays were in the news. Shit, we haven't potted in a month of Sundays, dog. Well? Yeah, well, you know. It's the holidays. We were busy. There was it's a thing. the holiday days. But I did have COVID, and that was unpleasant and unfortunate and unenviable, unrecommended. And I was vaccinated and boosted, but, you know, these things happen. The last time you I got had- that breakthrough case. That's right. Well, the last time I had influenza A, I had been vaccinated against influenza A. That was in 2018, long before any of this shit happened. So, presumably, the vaccine made the Omicron variant less virulent. I hope so. It doesn't matter. The bottom line is I didn't go to the hospital, so I didn't burden our healthcare system, and I got over it. But it did leave me moving pretty slowly for about 10 days. Yeah, you said you had blinding migraines. I did. I did have blinding migraines for days. But Did you pray to God? No, no, I didn't. I, yeah. <laughs> you know, you can't do it then. You know, you can't do it when the chips are down. Because if he does exist, he'd be real mad about that, right? Yeah, you know? <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Nah. Every time I thought I was gonna die, I was like, for a second thought, like maybe I should pray to God. And I'm like, well, I can't do it now. You know, you can't do it at the last second. Maybe if you, he might appreciate that you stuck to your guns until the very last breath. You know what I mean? I if he's cool, he might be cool. You know. You can't could clear a lot of shit up with just a five minute press conference. Could he not? Like, <laughs> why doesn't he? Dude, I watched the skit on TikTok the other day. That was uh, it was God and Angel skit. And uh, God's all bent out of shape. And the angel goes, well, what's wrong, God? And he's he's pouting because he wanted to start a new religion again. And he's like, every time I talk to somebody down there, they just end up starting a cult and they always want to have polygamy. He's like, why? Why do they always want to start polygamy? And uh, the angel goes, well, you know, we did a we had this crazy idea down in R&D. And, you know, every time you talk to somebody down on Earth, it's it's always a man. Have you considered talking to a woman? Yeah. And then he, he he's quiet for a second. He's like, I'd be out of a job in a millennia. Yeah, that's how the uh, that's how the hell heaven directives to help save souls got started. I mean, she's trying to Mary's trying to get stuff done. That's it's all I'm saying. An introduction to the apparitions of Our Lady of the Roses, Mary, help of mothers. That's what happened last time. God talked to a woman. That's true. And well, and technically Jesus talked to her. So we learned about the stench. We learned about <laughs> Russia and China, the flesh, you know, that was the problem. The broad though. strokes. I think that was the problem, though, is that she was spoken to by an underling, Jesus, and not the big guy himself. Yeah. Yeah. She That's... needed to speak to a manager. <laughs> Presumably so. She might have gotten some bad dope from this spirit who claimed to be Jesus Christ. Did you see that video? I saw a video the other day on Reddit of that fucking super amazing tunnel that Elon Musk built under Las Vegas, some some kind of hyperloop that only Teslas are allowed on right. in order to prevent traffic jams. Well, they got in a traffic jam. There's a video <laughs> of them being a traffic jam in there. And you begin to wonder, like, how the fuck did this get greenlit all the way to like how I don't understand why when you take a bunch of cars and move them into a tunnel underground, suddenly now, the traffic goes away. Yeah, now traffic's not a factor anymore. What is it? The sunlight? Is it too much oxygen? Also, when you look at these tunnels, dude, it is there's no it's seriously a tunnel just big enough for the car. One fucking car catches on fire in there, dude. Hundreds of people are going to die like you couldn't get out. You can't open the doors like you fucked like. There's no ventilation. It's a fucking it's a PVC tunnel just big enough for a fucking car to go through. I mean, it's just like, dude, million, I think well over 50 million dollars in taxpayer money. You know, how could it possibly be in taxpayer money? Because he had it's a contract with the city of or the state, one or the other of Las Vegas. Are you telling me that my government might spend money on things that don't make any fucking sense, but enrich one particular company? <laughs> Are you are you telling me that you just thought Las Vegas was a state? It's like, dude. <laughs> More to the point. No, I said the city of Las Vegas or the state you of did. Nevada. Right, you did right. not say of Nevada. I didn't say of Nevada. <laughs> I, did, I didn't think I had to. But you okay, know, all right, go on. We are where we are. Anyway, yeah, you know, interesting. it's like people are like, we figured this out already with subways. Subways don't have traffic jams. We figured that out. But that requires you to sit next to the unwashed masses, doesn't it? So yeah. that's the problem, right? Right. Not happening in. Uh, well, I was gonna say L.A., but this you, 
You said it was in Vegas? Yeah, I think it's in Vegas. No. It was at the Consumer Electronics Show, 2022 CES. And the idea was that the Boring Company, which is the company that Elon Musk owns that makes tunneling equipment, that bores holes. They that, bore. That's what they do. And right so there in the name. It is right in the name. And so, yeah, you know, you can just bore a tunnel that's perfectly Tesla sized. Then only <sighs> Teslas will be allowed in. <laughs> and I mean, at least you're not dealing with exhaust fumes. I'll grant you that. But your point about battery fires is well yeah. made. Dude, yeah, man. Bro, if or, dude, it could be anything. Like, a toll tunnel. A Tesla toll tunnel. It, I'm I telling like you, you couldn't open the door. Like, you couldn't get out. It's just big enough for your fucking Tesla. I don't like that. No, no, no. I don't like it. Just the look of it, I'd be like, it'd be getting hard for me to breathe just to fucking, I'd start yeah. freaking out. Like, yeah. I, I'm going to take a nap now, Tesla. You got this? Yeah. If it collapses, you good? like. Uh, you look, either you're waking me up on the other side or you're not waking me. And, it, you know, it better not be anything in between. I mean, it's Catman saying, oh, yeah, can't, it's going to happen. Mark my words, it's going to happen. It's going to be a fucking huge tragedy. Hundreds of people are going to burn to death in, ele- in chemical fire in a fucking hole underground where no one will be able to hear them scream. Listen, Nick, if you want right. to... Hey, look, man, if you want to make an omelet, you got to break a few eggs, man. Think These things are going to happen, okay? What's the omelet here? I don't want to be the egg. Like, because, you know, I'm all for a good omelet, but it's like, I don't, you've accomplished less than nothing. You know what I mean? Look, like, and done ve- and very unsafely. Look, like, the, the omelet here with these, with the Hyperloop is less traffic. It's supposed to be, simply put, it's supposed to be a brand new method of mass transit. That's what it's supposed it, to be. It doesn't make sense, though. That doesn't make any sense, you know? Well, no, it's well, like a traffic circle, okay? More, you got to trust the process. But, like, they figured this out with a subway. Like, subway systems was kind of like the peak of, yeah, you know, it's timed. There's no traffic because everything is running on a mechanical clock like schedule. You know, there's not individual operators inside each subway car, is there? No, there's one fucking guy at the front dragging the whole thing because engineers figured out long ago that it's much more time and fuel efficient, right, to have one guy operating a train of things at the beginning of the line than to have each individual. I mean, I'm just trying to find, like, why... Who thought this was a good idea? Like, Dad, break... You're a Tesla, man. Break break us down <laughs> yeah. why why the Hyperloop was put greenlit. On, put on your dick riding shoes and tell us why Elon Musk is, you know, smart for this. First of all, I want to make it clear that I'm not a Tesla man. I'm a Dapper Dan man. That's number okay. one, okay? What the fuck does that mean? He's goddamn bona fide. It That's means he it likes means. the movie Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? <laughs> oh, oh, I've He's never seen it. God da- what? Yeah, I've never all seen right. it. Where well, do you think I got Pater Familis from? I got yeah. it from that. I movie. just assumed it was Latin and that you were making a joke. Well, you were, I mean, you're True. not wrong. But, uh, yeah, oh, brother, where art those great, dude? John Goodman. George I know Goodman. it's good. I just, I, Dirt. you know, I do not have copious amounts of free time to dedicate to the classics. Okay. I don't know what to tell you. You don't need copious amounts, just an hour. Dude, we Two. watched, we watched, um, three. Fuck that. No, Elsie just lied. <laughs> Elsie told on you. Is fuck it, is that. It three hours? It's I don't long. know how long it is. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't short. It ain't it short. Yeah, like we, just Odyssey. we watched whatever fucking Hugh Jackman. Prisoners. Jake Gyllenha- yeah. Prisoners. Me and dad went and saw that in theaters. Great fucking movie. It was fu- it was pretty good, but it was two and a half hours long. I'm too old for that shit. Yeah. I'm too fucking old for it. You, you remember I, that movie? Dude? No. What? Prisoners. What it is. This girl gets kidnapped. Hugh Jackman is this girl's dad. Like multiple kids get kidnapped and okay. nobody knows who does it. Right. And Hugh Jackman, like is like taking the law into his own hands because okay. the police can't really do anything. And Jake Gyllenhaal is the detective working on the case. And he keeps telling Hugh Jackman, fucking sit down and let me do my job. Yeah, and- he keeps telling Hugh Jack. Hugh Jackman's like, you're not finding my fucking kid. And then Jake Gyllenhaal's like, it's a process. So Hugh Jackman kidnaps who he thinks kidnapped his daughter and is torturing the shit out of him to like get him to reveal where the location of his daughter is. Okay, I can't now- remember how it... Yeah, now it's all coming back to me. Right. And then uh, how did it how what was really the thing? It was that the guy it was this so, family was coercing uh, him to do it. Right. Well, OK. So what happened was Hugh Jackman's daughter and Hugh Jackman's neighbor's daughter are walking back to the house by themselves on Thanksgiving, blah, blah, blah. They get kidnapped by this person in an RV and the person in the RV, they find him eventually. And he's like a special needs child uh, who lives with his aunt. 
um, has the the IQ of a 10 year old is what they keep saying. And so the police holds him for a couple days or a day or something. And then Hugh Jackman asks the detective, don't let him go. And the detective says, okay, we won't. And then the police chief lets him go. And um, so anyway, long story short is that what it really comes down to is that the aunt and her husband had a kid who died of cancer. And so because of that, they waged the war against God where they would kidnap children put them in this maze and say, okay, if you can get out, you get to live. And uh, there was like some snake. But they were fucking using the fucking shit. guy to, the, to kidnap them. Yeah, their so, so their son, Alex, was their first victim. Oh, he wasn't even their son at all. Yeah, because yeah, their son died. Out. Yeah, but yeah. he made it out the maze. So was his developmental disability the result of going through the maze? Or yes, because there's there's also some snake venom involved. So he got bit in the face by a snake. You know, his brain. Yeah. It's yeah. funny you say all this because I remember parts of this movie, most of the movie. I don't remember the snake venom in the brain thing. I didn't I, remember that at all. Yeah, I didn't remember that at all. That sounds made up, I'll be honest. But well, who just watched it? <laughs> what I do know is that the movie didn't really stick with me. That's what I know for sure. When you're saying, oh, yes. Oh, yes, of course. Yes. OK. But as well, it, it came out in 2013, it was almost a decade ago. We went and saw this in theaters. I see. OK, well, that does make me feel a little bit better. I thought, man, I, was that like last year? I, it seems like longer. No, no, ago. no, no. Oh. it was it was over a de- or not quite a decade ago. Well, but I, we walked out of that theater going like that was a good flick. That was a good movie. Yeah. And then it ends with Hugh Jackman being caught up in the maze himself with his daughter He's screaming for help. But Jake Gyllenhaal is there, but he doesn't really hear them. But then yeah, he like no, a, close, close. You're close. So also in this, Hugh Jackman ends up kidnapping Alex and like torturing him because he knows that he knows where his daughters are. Yeah. And uh, but event, but anyway, Hugh Jackman eventually figures out that it wasn't Alex at all. It was the aunt and goes to confront the aunt about it. And the aunt pulls a gun on him and shoves him down in the maze. But at this point, the uh, daughters have already escaped, I think, at that point. And because um, there's like this whole timing issue. And Hugh Jackman gets caught in the maze and then the kids are in the hospital and Jake Gyllenhaal is like at the scene with the aunt. And um, yeah, but like he, Hugh Jackman's calling for help or something. Yeah, he, he has. OK, so there's this or it's whole, a there's, whistle, like yeah, it's a special it's a, kind of whistle. It's, it's a little rape whistle is what yeah. it is. And and the, so the 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 CSI team is scouring the ant's place and he's in this hole in the ground covered up by a Trans Am. Yeah. And yeah. and the movie ends with Jake Gyllenhaal just barely hearing the little rape whistle and yeah. it like splashes to 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 over to the Trans Am. So you can it's just, implied that yeah. he finds them. Jake Gyllenhaal's walking away. I remember this. He's walking away and then he hears something and he like perks his ear up. That's the last shot shot of the movie. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you figure that Jake Gyllenhaal rescues Hugh Jackman and they fall very much in love. Yeah. And yeah. Well, I mean, Hugh rolls... Jackman does, of course, go to jail and Jake Gyllenhaal visits him in jail, you know, and then they... Oh, is that real? <laughs> no. Okay. Well, I've ruined the bit. <laughs> anyway, uh... <laughs> Did you run the last scenes? And the, then, the, do- the, the wife goes, you know, so he's a good man. But if you find him, is he going to jail? And Jake Gyllenhaal goes, yeah, dude. Yeah. That's yeah. how that works. He kidnapped, kidnapped and tortured that's a man. Kidnapping and torture. Yeah. Multiple, multiple, <laughs> yeah. multiple. So felonies. anyway, Hugh Jackman goes to jail. This is the sequel. Um, this is why it's called Prisoners. And then checkerboard square wipe to Hugh Jackman comes out 13 years later and goes and buys a ranch up in the mountains. And Jake Gyllenhaal visits him. Yeah. He, yeah, he also decides, hey, I'm done with this whole detective. And they life. become cowboys. They become cowboys up in the mountains. And it's lonely up there. You know what I mean? <laughs> <Right>. It's cold. <laughs> I know. Sometimes exactly. all you have is each other's warm, hard bodies. You're and Hugh a shared Jackman past. And Jake fucking Gyllenhaal, for God's sake. You know, you're cut up. right? And there's nothing. There's no there's no one on your level up there besides you two yeah broke back mountain prequel that's what it was yeah okay bet and there it is great uh so so if you want to see jake gyllenhaal and hugh jackman full penetration go ahead and go to <laughs> www <laughs> broke back mountain prequel broke, sequel yeah broke back broke back mountain prequels backslash prisoners dot biz Terrific. Can't wait can't you can wait. also subscribe to their only fans which then redirects to their porn hub page so are. Would hey. you subscribe to Hugh Jackman's OnlyFans? Probably. Only if he's going to have the Wolverine things. I need that if I'm going to be. The Wolverine claws? Yeah. The cosplay? Yeah. Or yeah. the hat? With the white <laughs> eyes. He has a hat? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Wolverine's hat. Yeah, yeah he's got a mask. The claws. Oh, yeah, okay. A hat is different than a mask okay. in my a defense. Hat is a, maybe <laughs> the, hey, yes. like the, 
the the gesture you made like it was a fedora no 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 i got confused wolverine <laughs> yeah, mask i'm with you sarah with the white eyes how crazy would that be totes what are your guys's memory systems like you are you mean? talking There's a segue about, to this are you talking about like in our mental how we use mnemonics to try and remember things is that what you're talking yeah, what's about what's your well yeah what's your mind palace look like or do you have one yeah i've got a mind palace let me tell you what it looks like it looks like a bombed out building from world war ii that's what my memory <laughs> fucking palace looks like okay pal <laughs> and yet like continue london. to shoot it artillery like, at it daily <laughs> <laughs> looks like london after the you know the thing the, where they got bombed real the bad. blitz yeah. blitz yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what it looks they got, like that's all of world war ii man yeah yeah I, I don't use any memory tricks that I know of, so I guess mine's a maze that I don't understand. No, like my... when you when you try to access like you know your first day at, at first grade, you know how do you get there? Uh, you imag- I imagine the place that I that I was the school, and then just I don't know, it's a nebulous cloud of. That's probably shaped like a penis in some way. <laughs> you know what I mean? Vaguely phallic. Yeah. Of memories that I pull, you know, you, data from. And At this point in my life, I'm at an age where there are only specific memories from, for example, I can say definitely I was three years old when this happened, or I was four years old when this happened, or I was five years old. There are only a handful of memories for each year of my life that I could identify. And in fact, I mean... Let's say the year I was 25 years old. I don't think I could tell you a very specific memory from the year I was 25 years old. If you put a gun to my head, I, I, my memory's not I don't that think good. I could when I was. I don't think I could from two years ago. If someone was like, "What's a memory you have when you were 23 years old?" I don't think I'd be able to. I don't know. <laughs> See, I could. I have a decent memory considering how much I have personally done to kill my own brain cells, but I don't think I have a system. Like when you were saying, if I asked you about your first day of, you know, first grade or something, like I am instantly like, Nick, think of the school, think of probably clothes I was wearing at the time, think of who was in my class, who was in my grade, that sort of thing. But I don't know how I got there other than you led me down the path of my own memory. Or for another example, now I remember my first day of kindergarten because my mother walked me into kindergarten for several times before I actually went. So I showed up to kindergarten on my own and was surprised to see every other child there being dropped off by a parent. Hmm. Oh, you were like, oh, I'm big fucking, look at these little baby ass kids getting dropped off by their parents. I'm here on my own, dude. No, I, solo rider. I didn't have enough information at that time to make that sort of masculine judgment about their pussy dumb. You know what I mean? Right, about right. their wimpiness. About the bitch in their hearts. Right, you know? about their caring caregivers they had no. bitch in their hearts you just couldn't quite articulate that yet but you had a little fucking leather jacket and some aviators and a Slicked fucking back hair pack of cigarettes rolled up in your in your T-shirt. sleeve yeah. yeah i didn't but i will say look at these fucking babies being dropped off by their parents and flick the toothpick onto the ground toothpick live cigarette so Get i would little... like to know what brought the question up sarah uh, because when I think about my memory system, it's kind of like uh, Professor X ac- accessing Cerebro. Like, so I, I sit in the chair, I put the helmet on, and then whatever fucking thing I'm going to, I fly through like Cerebro. Mm-hmm. That's cool. That's yeah, I'd say that's cool. I wish I had brain cells that strong. No, I'm afraid I don't. You're like a Jimmy Nutrin brain blast is what you're talking about. No. Yeah. Although I like that. That just unlocked the memory for me. Thanks. Nutrin. Jimmy Neutron. It's actually Nutrin. <laughs> you are full of shit, you little... It's pronounced Jimmy Nutrin. Uh-huh. No. He <laughs> he legally changed it to Neutron. This is one of those man- Mandela effects. You think it's... Everyone thinks it's Neutron, but it was always Jimmy Nutrin. Absolutely Never. not. It was always Neutron, dude. This is the theme song to Jimmy Nutrin. You remember? <laughs> no. Yeah. Nutrin. No. That's how it went. You just changed it again, you dummy. You changed no, it from Nutron <laughs> to Nutrin. Yes, you did. You can't. I said Jimmy Nutrin the whole time. <laughs> no, you did. You're trying to gaslight me, you fuck. That is what it was. And Jimmy me. Nutrin. That's bullshit. I'm calling right. that one. Hey, so I. that's why you brought that up, to say I fly through my memories like 
You guys were talking X. about Hugh Jackman's <laughs> X Men Wolverine costume oh, well, and jacking off to it. Okay, oh, give oh, me a break. Uh, uh, no one was you. talking about jacking off to anybody. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you were. It's implied in the OnlyFans. You guys oh. remember yeah. when the pod used to have a semblance of a context and flow, and we talked about things. This is that flow. No verbal, plenty of flow. <laughs> no verbal or hypothetical <laughs> penis was in my hands when talking about Hugh Jackman and. Uh, well, that was for later, Johnny. That's why. That's why. <laughs> the page is bookmarked daniel day lewis or whoever the fuck the other guy was Jake Ooh, Gyllenhaal. i'm into it now who the hell is Dan Le- daniel what? day lewis oh daniel is day lewis guy? is amazing no yeah, we elsie and i had this conversation over the holidays <laughs> she said to me something about daniel day lewis and i said you know what the fuck has he ever really been in and then she Gangs said in new york and that's it I've never seen that. Which also, not great. Not a great movie. If you don't have <laughs> subtitles on, I'm going to tell you right now, you have no fucking idea. I can't idea. watch anything without subtitles anymore. I'm too I'm too hard of hearing. I remember watching that movie with subtitles. Like, I saw it at my friend Raleigh's house. She's like, oh, you never seen Gangs in New York? This is a legendary movie. Star-studded cast. John C. Riley, Leonardo DiCaprio? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Daniel Day-Lewis, Kirsten Dunst, a bunch of fucking people. And I was sitting there for three and a half hours watching that movie, <laughs> waiting for Wondering it. Wondering when it's going to get good. Just waiting for it to get good. You know what I mean? Like, okay, so, all right, we're setting it up. A lot of exposition here. Okay. And, uh, yeah, yeah, they're, that's intim- it. they're intimidating guys. And it's okay. Let's get really fucking long now. Is it going to get good? No, it never did. And the fucking the, the language they use is so archaic and weird. Like, if you do not have subtitles on, how the fuck could you ever understand what's happening? If you saw that in theaters, you'd be like, what did I just watch? You know? I did see it in theater, and I enjoyed it. You Very- understood what they were saying? She's from the area. I understood that there were terms that they were using that were very historically accurate that I wouldn't necessarily use now, but I understood in context, you know, context yeah. clues. I guess, man, that's a lot of fucking work. It's not like prisoners. <laughs> what? Just picking up on context is work. Yeah. Oh, it's not like gosh. prisoners where Jake Gyllenhaal and Hugh Jackman just throw <laughs> well, their shit. You got to remember off. that he is, in fact, not only just a man, but a cis white man. And like there the go. context is built around him. <laughs> That's you know? fair. You don't I have understand. to fucking read any context no. clues. Like, Daniel Day Lewis? Mm-hmm. You, you dummy. Oh. But I'm also, not, by I'm the way, fun. Daniel Day Lewis has been in Last of the Mohicans, My Left Foot, In the Name of the Father, Lincoln. <laughs> he's nominated for an Oscar in like every fucking movie he's in. That's all. Every <laughs> single one of those just things about. you just said. Me and Sarah just looked at each other like <laughs> never heard of yeah. none of these. Well, it's because you're children. <laughs> <laughs> what about what about the Phantom Thread? He was great in that, I hear. Yeah, uh, I hated that movie. All right. Yeah, well, what no. the fuck is that? Nah. You guys are not saying I don't I thought you were gonna say the Phantom of the Opera. And it's then I got interested <laughs> because, like, I can quote that front to back was back, you know, back to front. But no, then you said some other shit. And I don't know that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> OK. I don't know. The well, boxer. there's been a lot that's gone on since last we talked on a podcast. And one of those things is that Betty White died. Sidney Poitier died. Uh, Bob John, Saget died. John Madden. Yeah. A few weeks ago. Have you guys been on a killing spree when we've been off the pod? <laughs> Is that what you're saying right now? I I wouldn't do Betty White like that, or John Madden, or Bob Saget. Your dad might have fucked her to death. Crazy. What? Your dad might have fucked her to death. That's dying of natural causes. Betty White. Yeah. I mean, we don't know. He hasn't been potting. What have you been up to? Well, I do know that he had COVID around the same time as Betty White's death. So, so even just fucking her might have fucked her to death. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. For what it's worth. Okay, her cause of death. She wasn't been... a great leg. <laughs> <laughs> I bet she what was it's amazing. Worth, <laughs> for I what... didn't even want to do it, but <laughs> but you know it's Betty White, so it's like, what am I going to say? No, hell, I think the on. Hollywood mafia comes after you at that point. I popped a couple of gas station rhino pills and did what I had to do. Strap you know? up and get in it. Yeah. So you know, you all are ha- talking about having sexual intercourse with Betty White, but that's not what I'm talking about. She's dead, man. She died of a stroke, they say. Stroking it, maybe. <laughs> yeah, getting stroked on, you know what I'm saying? Getting stroked in a little bit. You fucking sicko. You <laughs> rotten soldier. Nine years old. You're a rotten uh, soldier, dude. I, I'm the bad guy in all this yeah. somehow? I'm not, I'm I don't know if it was bad, bad or not. Yeah, that's her, her call. I, I'm not trying to cast, you know, moral 
judgments on your fucking weird sexual proclivities so, with famous old women. But you're, you're, and then Sydney Poitier. That's the part that yeah. gets me. Is life or death bad? You know, it's just, it is what it is. I never had sex with Betty White, nor did I have any intimate sexual relationships with Sidney Poitier, Bob Saget, or any of their family members. Bill Clinton said that about Monica Lewinsky. We yeah. all know the truth. You're right. And well, look but at she's still now. alive, to be fair. <laughs> to be very <laughs> fair. You know, it's crazy how much shit... I, well, we may have talked about this already, but like, just hearing contemporary, like at that time, the way people would talk about her, like she was the bad guy. Yeah, like she was demonized. I'm like, what? What? They were like calling her a slut and shit. Yeah. All of the, I'm like, dude, the president of the United States wants you to suck him in his oval office you just say no you're a slut for doing that yeah. like he's the president dude. you corrupted it yeah what like this is on him you know dude i want i listened to a whole 12 episode podcast on that shit man it's wild leave her alone dude suck the little pee pee what's wrong did she ever consider not being a woman that's true that's the real Damn. yeah she should have been transgender dumbass yeah well, yeah, that is bad what happened to Monica Lewinsky. I feel bad for her. I wish yeah, that I mean, didn't happen right. to her. But, you know, President Bill Clinton, it turns out, is a gigantic pervert. So, <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, who would have thunk? Who would have thought? Who would have thunk that Slick Willie had, you know, some kind of, uh, you know, he's a little dog. Well, it's it occurred to me that his name is William Clinton. Yeah. It's Slick Willie. You thought his name was Billiam? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, Bilton. No, and Bill was his name. I forget that Bill is short for William. Like, right. why the fuck is yeah, that, that a is, thing? That's a weird one, right? Like, yeah. that doesn't really make. Why are we putting a? Why are we completely switching two letters now? You know what I mean? Well, sure, yeah, it don't make no goddamn sense. Like Nicholas shortened shortened to Nick. Yeah, that makes sense. Bill for William. Well, how about Will, how sure. about shortening Richard to Dick? You know, yeah, that's, that's another also one. weird. That I, is also weird. We should is. kill whoever did that. We should take this all up with the authorities immediately. I agree. Yeah. Well, I don't know exactly what it was that we were talking about before we got sidetracked onto Bill and Monica Lewinsky. But Your murder spree? My murder spree. I didn't touch Betty White. The fact is, I though, did not murder him. Or molest Sorry, her. Yes, neither one. <laughs> yeah. So none of those things happened. But yeah, it's a shame about Betty White and Sidney Poitier and Bob Saget. And now, you know, I don't know who that Sidney Poitier is. Oh, Poitier. He was the um, he was the first African-American man to win an Oscar for Best Actor for Lilies oh. in the Field. And he I'm had a number. Lie, I thought that was a woman. It's kind of a woman's name. You know what? Sydney? Lily? Sidney. Oh, Sidney. Yeah. Well, we do have a family member named Sidney, of course, but she's not an African-American yeah. actor. To she my should knowledge. be. Not that we Sydney, know get it together. That's true. <laughs> get yeah. it together. That's true. Well, the thing that I found interesting, and I wanted to t share this with you before I forgot, was that I heard about John Madden after he died that they wrote the role of coach on Cheers for John Madden and offered it to him. And he declined saying, hey, I, where could I go from there? I can't. It's a dead end job. But he was very flattered by it. But he turned it down. I don't, what do you? What? Who the fuck is John yeah. Madden exactly? Is he, that not the football guy? The yeah, yes. it is. And who's coach on Cheers? Coach on Cheers, Coach was the original guy that was the bartender at the bar Cheers that was owned by Sam Malone and had a wacky cast of regulars that included Cliff and Norm and Shelley Long. as Sam Malone's Ted Danson. That's yes. where he got famous. Right? Exactly. Not to be confused with the actual show called Coach, which ran at the same time as Cheers. That's correct. That's a totally different okay. show altogether. All no, right. there was a character on Cheers in the early 80s called Coach. He was the original bartender. He was replaced in later episodes by Woody, Woody Harrelson. And so after the original coach in the series died... But that was written for John Madden because John Madden was such a popular sportscaster in the early 80s. It was thought that he would bring a lot of viewership to the show, which undoubtedly he would have. Just proof that he was too smart of a businessman to be duped by such a ploy. That's so true. I mean, I yeah, I, I suppose so. In the end, he got, you know, they named a line of video games that come that sell 60 million copies a year after him. So actually... They Good didn't move. just name them after him. He was very instrumental in the early versions of it and actually directed how much of it was done, which is why the early versions of it are hailed as like these amazing things. And the most recent iterations where he's been older and not as involved have sucked. It's true. It, well, it, yeah. And also it's like they kind of you hit a plateau of football 
gaming technology fantasy sim. football sims what, yeah it's like football simulator like how much better could it get every year fucking madden 2018 i think they figured it out in about 2012 right i mean you make the <laughs> graphics better you can add more players and shit but it's like you know does one need to it's same thing with fifa and basketball 2k like they come out with a new one every and ufc they come out with a new one every year because people will buy the new one every year but it's not like they're you, you know, you can only make such so good of a football simulator or a fighting simulator or whatever, what have you. Well, even beyond that, the reality is that he wasn't involved in the last few years. He's an old man or he was an old man before he passed away. But originally they came to him and said to him, hey, man, we want to make a football game. We'd like to make it seven on seven so it's manageable. People can deal with it. He said, no, it's got to be 11 on 11. And they said, well, it'll take years to work that out. And he said, well, then come back to me in a few years. And they did. Yeah. Yeah. And so he really did drive development of video gaming in a way that it probably would have taken a few more years had he not drive, been driving the train for something more realistic, which is interesting, yeah. man. He was an interesting cat. But at that the end is of the interesting. Day, you know, he made a lot of money off of, you know, the sanctioned violence that is the NFL. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, when he was a coach, man. The, different ball game. It was a different ball. It was a thousand times more violent, which is why it became so popular. You know, yeah. so although in fact, that was back when defense, I've said this a hundred times, but you know, that's when, when defenses were scary and had their own names, you know, but they were very frightening yeah. because they could do physical violence to you. That <laughs> yeah, would Cause that was their in. whole job was sure. to find you and hurt you. Yeah, that's yeah, but right. What do you mean? They had their own names like, uh, the green Bay Packers or the green machines and, oh, or the fucking, oh, the Vikings the were the purple people eaters. Yeah, you know what I mean? Okay. That's right. The front four for the Los Angeles Rams way back when they were in LA, the first time was the fearsome foursome. And featured yeah. a guy named, Mer among others, uh, Merlin Olson, who went on to star in Little House on the Prairie. But it, Merlin Olson. Merlin Olson, yeah. And then, the you wizard. know, of course, Denver had the Orange Crush defense of the 1970s. Yeah, the Orange Crush? How do you not get fucking stoked about that, huh? Exactly. Well, you got cool names it's like that? It's tasty and delicious. Yeah, for the defense. Let's and, get them Orange Crush. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. No, so that was a different era, obviously. And the game changed. But, I mean, the strategy is still very, very important in football. It's not we just... You should note also, it was like, you know, it was so bad for people, you know, and still is. It like, still is. Look at Antonio yeah. Brown. I do think that Tom Brady was right that Antonio Brown does deserve compassion. It's clear that the guy is mentally ill. He's been hit a few too, too many times in the noggin, man. Who, was that the guy who laid the motherfucking ass whooping on his girlfriend on camera? That's no? he. That's one of the things that he did. But he also has had his bell rung a number of times. And in a game against the New York Jets this past weekend, Tampa Bay and the New York Jets, he took his shirt off and ran out onto the field and basically quit the team in the middle of a game. Good. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, this is a completely different guy. But same behavior. He also beat his girlfriend or sexually assaulted her or both. No, who I was thinking of was a guy who hasn't played in a long time ray there's a video huh ray rice oh, not ray rice not ray rice he was not well him he did this too yes but there was a different guy sure kareem hunt maybe he also did this but it was a different guy than it. that how about Tariq hill yes him as well but <laughs> this was a different guy I see. anyway he laid the motherfucking ass whooping on his girlfriend she had caught it on or like they just had a camera maybe she had set it up beforehand or whatever he threw her into the TV and shit. It fell on her. It was it was gnarly. Well, these men, they can be very violent. And in any event, I do think that that's a huge problem in that game is that, you know, it's <laughs> sanctioned violence. Right. And so. Yeah. And also it's like, yeah, you are not only does it ring your bell, which causes bad, you know, possibly CTE and whatnot. Yeah. You know, personality changes. But also, like, you got to be mean. You know, you're like, if you want to make it, you got to be a mean violent dude hardcore you know uh i mean i'm all about the fact that the nfl just sweeps things under the rug that are convenient for them like roethlisberger you know sexually assaulting yeah. underage women but i am reading up on antonio brown at the moment and apparently the only situation there was that his baby mama was fighting him over money wedged mm -hmm. herself into his door so that he couldn't shut the door so he just pushed her out the door and shut it, and mm. that that's the big domestic issue there. Well, I mean, a push from Antonio Brown, though. <laughs> you know well, what I mean? He's a but big also, dude. if there's no video, we don't know really what Well, here's happened. the other thing. Have you seen Antonio Brown with his shirt off? I have. 
He's very attractive. And yeah. I will has say this. No also, nipples. Has no nipples. No that's nipples. True. Yeah. The really? Fox blurred out his nipples when he was running <laughs> off the field, you see. That's so fucking. Yeah. Good it's job, so Fox. Weird. You're saving the world. <laughs> yeah. You're saving the kids. Thanks. You know? <laughs> right. Yeah. This well-cut African-American man running off the field with his shirt off, his nipples would be too frightening to America's children. I think we yeah. all can agree on that. So, Fox, thanks for protecting us from Antonio saving Brown's nipples. Saving the kids. I mean, one, one nipple at a time. You know that's right. <laughs> As a side note, I was I asked Sandy what she wanted for her birthday, and she gave me some some vague answer. I happened to be looking for a silk dressing gown, like something somebody wears in Outlander, and so somehow there's like apparently a nipple dress on Outlander. And what's Outlander? What's a nipple I don't dress? Know. <laughs> so many questions um you have as much information as i do except there was a picture attached to the nipple dress and it's literally That's a lot more information i'm just gonna say yeah, all right <laughs> and it's like you know an 18th century ball gown where you know typically it would cut off at a respectable level except then the nipples were cut out and had a little swirly <laughs> around them and i'm like i'm on my work computer and i was just looking for a silk dressing gown and now i'm, I'm on a list in trouble yeah. <laughs> i'm gonna have to have a sit down with my boss over this yeah except i will erase all evidence instead yeah because you so. can do that that's the power of being the it director you can look at all the porn you want all day long and just <laughs> Pretty much and all, the, all the medieval porn you want <laughs> nobody would be none the wiser <laughs> i do remember the nipple dress from that episode now that you mention it it was weird Oh, it wasn't. It? Was okay, so Outlander's a show. Yes. Okay. With a nipple dress. Yeah. Now we know. Uh, we have both of our questions. They have a in. dick dress? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just Probably called a kilt. Not. It's yeah. just called a kilt. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's true. Whoa, hey, there. what's underneath there? Oh, my goodness. My birthday is coming up, but you don't need to buy me a nipple dress. You don't not need to. Please don't. Or, oh, I see. Or a dick dress. Okay. <laughs> right, a kilt. All right, well... I don't know why Sandy did that. I'm sorry that she put you through that. I, I, I hope you were recovering and that, you know, that you weren't triggered. Uh, she didn't mean to. I mean, she didn't do anything. I asked her. She supplied an answer. And then I went off on a little Google journey that who, who hasn't gone on a Google journey they regret. Oh, you know? my goodness. <laughs> so many. Well, I will say that in the legal arena, a lot has happened since last we got together. You remember I was talking about Elizabeth Holmes. Well, she came back. She's guilty. And so now she'll be sentenced. She faces up to 20 years, but will probably get less. The consensus is that her decision to testify was a bad one because the jury found her to be the least credible of the witnesses that they heard from. Nice. Shocker. Yeah, it's almost like the, you should shut your motherfucking mouth and leave it up to the lawyers. Huh? The ego on some of these fucking villains, right? Shut your fucking trap and leave it to the lawyers. It I mean, is a truism, though, that villains can't help but monologue. They can't help it. True. So true. She you got, caught me monologuing. She caught her monologuing with her dick out. Well, good for her. It took 20 years. Nips Probably out. be more like three or four. Probably, yeah, three or four weeks. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, she, whatever. she's a She'll white woman with a baby, so justice uh, is served. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then Gislaine yeah. Maxwell, yeah, also found guilty of yeah. four out of five charges, I believe. We got her. I mean, yeah, that's yeah, we got her. Pedophilia is over, guys. Yeah, we did it. Let's pop the champagne. I mean, Bill Clinton certainly wasn't serviced by any underage girl, any child on any of these flights on the so-called Lolita Express with Jeffrey Epstein. We all know that nothing happened. That was all above board. That was in service to a greater good. The Clinton Foundation doing so much fine work in Africa, working to eradicate the causes of death in children that prevent them from being trafficked. Yeah. Well, yeah. You can't traffic them if they're dead. That's right. Well, We've got to save them. We also ended racism by putting Ahmaud Aubrey's murderers in jail. Oh, that's right. Oh, I yeah. about yeah. that. Now, that one is nice. They at least all got life. At least it's like, okay. Wow, yeah, geez. the civil rights movement's come so far in the 50 years. Yeah, no shit. Finally, Guys finally a to, life conviction. Yeah, they went to prison for gunning a kid down in the street for no reason. Now, here's what I liked. All right, go ahead. Here's what I liked. That Aubrey's mother, at the end of that trial, was offered a plea deal by the Fed saying, hey, you know, they're in jail for life. They're not getting out. Could we perhaps make a deal on the federal hate crime charges? And you know what Ahmaud Aubrey's mother what said? You, wh wh what? 
can we make a deal on the federal hate crime charges? What do you mean? Well, what so deal? They're and why to... is she involved in the decision making process at all? Because she's the victim, she... first yeah. of all. Second of all, but she's the survivor. Yeah. Second of all, the federal case against Travis Barker and the other guys that no, it's not Travis. Don't Barker, think that's his okay. name. Damn. No. Nonetheless, the guys. So there was another case <laughs> pending and they were trying to say, oh, we already got him for life without parole. Boo. Won't you? Won't, won't we just let this go? You know, don't need to waste these served. resources. Right. That's really and not she even told that. them to go get fucking bent. Is that's that right. What, that's yeah. the upshot. The upshot is she hey. said, hey, listen, no, absolutely not. These are federal hate crimes charges that these men are facing, and they should face those charges fully and fulsomely. And I think yeah. that that's a very fair thing. Why should they get a break from this particular trial and subsequent, hopefully, conviction simply because it would make it more convenient for the government? Nah, dog. We're going to go ahead and convict them again. They can serve life for as long as they live. Multiple times over. However many life sentences we can accrue here. Yeah. Good for her. I agree. Yeah. I'm with that, too. So you see the video. The video of it is absolutely fucking haunting. I mean, it's, yeah, it's bad. It's so dark. The video of them hunting him. Yeah. 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 No. And I don't want to. They just they just stop him in the street. Fucking they, it's, it looks yeah. like a fucking I mean, they're in a tr- they they hunted him. It could not look more like a stereotypical lynching. Yeah. 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 I guess it was a gun. So whatever. But it was dark. Yeah. It's like, damn, those are someone's last moments like that kid's last moments for no crime other than being black while trying to exercise in a public, you know, just running, jogging through a neighborhood. Yeah. Like, come on, dude. Ugh. Being the, black in an America is a crime, you know, inherently. Gratuitous, unnecessary, dark violence. It's so fucked up. But, hey, they're in prison now, and uh, they'll click up with some Peckerwoods probably, or not, and get fucked. Oh, you know they so, are. Doesn't matter. The bottom line is that. Just like we stopped pedophilia and sex trafficking, with We've the stun it with the conviction of Ghislaine Maxwell and no other perpetrators. So only yeah. those two people, Jeffrey yeah. Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell, only those two people. Those were the only two people involved in the criminal enterprise. I particularly like that the only one that's going to do time is the actual only one who didn't fuck the girls. That's actually right. not true. Well, we no, don't know. No, no, that. no, no, no. We don't she, know what she was doing. She did participate, according to several of the victims, in sexual abuse as well. So, no, she, and I'm afraid your statement, while amusing on its face, is factually inaccurate. No, she did also do that. So, she should go to jail for a long time, and I'm sure she will. And well, scapegoats we'll usually do. Yeah, we'll see. The well, patsy always does. I mean, I, she's a little bit more than a patsy, but it's like. You you can still be complicit while taking the brunt of the operation. You know, you're still a fucking. I guess, but it's like, yeah, I mean, we've gone over this a trillion times. She's not an innocent scapegoat. That's what I'll say. Yeah, but yeah, but it's like, dude, for one second, there was a brief flashlight being shown on the on the web, like of how deep it goes. Who's been very naughty? You know what I mean? What what people on our taxpayer salaries are being very, very naughty. And uh, as soon as that's about to go down, I mean, dude, they just kill him. They kill him right. in. you know, they don't even try to. They had like the weak cover story, but it's also like kind of a wink and a nod to the American public. Like, yeah, you know, we'll throw up a cover story, I guess, for the for the super. But nothing's happening. here. Yeah. For the super like uneducated masses. But for the rest of you, you know, and we know and we know, you know, that we'll just kill you. You know what I mean? So shut up. Pay your taxes. Yeah, I'm sure that Ghislaine Maxwell is very interested in her own survival. I'm sure that that's the case. Yeah, well, that's what I. Yeah, I said, like, what's your if you're Ghislaine Maxwell before she got her conviction? What's your fucking strategy with your lawyer? Because, you know, you can't squeal. Not if you want to live. So your strategy is to go to prison. That's your strategy, yeah. <laughs> because at least in prison, you're alive. And, yeah. and so that's what she's going to end up doing. And. Hey, there's a Hail Mary chance that her crack legal team, which is very high powered, will get her off on very high funded. But interestingly enough. All right. So she apparently got married while she was on the lam to some wealthy dude. Okay, And so when they caught her. Yeah, she was at some very expensive mansion in Vermont or New Hampshire or some shit. Uh Massachusetts. Who the fuck knows? Anyway, so it turns out that since she's been in prison for the last two years more or less, or year and a half, whatever the fuck it is, her 
guy that she got married to, who, by the way, was about 15 years younger than her. Well, sadly, he's moved on to greener pastures in the form of a yoga instructor. So nice. she's been told that their marriage, as lovely as it was, is now over. That fucking guy, dude. What kind of scumbag was that guy? I wonder. What is he into? You Ask the yoga instructor. <laughs> Well said. Ask the yoga instructor, indeed. But in any event, Ghislaine Maxwell's marital troubles, well, she deserves them. Let's be honest. Hey, but didn't George Clooney said he got sucked up by Ghislaine Maxwell? I think he did. Yeah. Said he got sucked up by her in a you know broom closet or something romantic like that before he knew who she was. Really? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Isn't there I don't a know picture of Clooney in, in him and her if, or something? Or she said that she did that. She was like, you know, there's messages of her and one of her besties. Which oh, is like, oh yeah, right. I sucked up George Clooney once in a fucking in a in a loo, you know. Was she British? I don't know, but if you're Delaine Britain, Maxwell, oh yeah. British as the day is long. In fact, her father was a noted publisher of the Daily Mirror in uh, London. He was a huge media mogul and uh, and some a, say a Mossad agent. Yeah, I, I, a, a Mossad what agent. A Mossad agent. It's the Mossad is the is Israel CIA, right? Oh, okay. that's is correct. That right? They are yeah. the secret police of Israel. I'm just stuck you know. on this. Why? So I just looked it up and there's an article about Ghislaine giggling as she told the story of sucking off Clooney. Like, uh, nice. is there something wrong with me that I've never felt the need to like even brag cross? about whose dick you've sucked? Yeah. yeah. Well, but have right? you sucked George Clooney, though? That's the follow up. <laughs> Did I get paid for it? Because that's mean, the only time I'm bragging about if it. I sucked George Clooney's dick. I think I'd tell somebody, right? I mean, I know a gentleman never kisses and tells, but it's George Clooney here. I mean, what did, you get, what, did you, what did you get out of it? Like, yeah. it, it, look, you right. come too, then maybe. <laughs> he is like, but What do you mean? What did Dude, I get if George out of it? Clooney licks me off, then yeah, I'm telling fucking exactly. everyone. But if I suck his dick, I ain't telling anybody because I'm like, damn, what'd I get out of that? I'm just a cheap, hey. dirty whore. Thank you. Hell no, yeah, dude. Well, if I was at a party and Scarlett Johansson were like bumped into me on my way to the bathroom, was like, hey, you want to eat the box in this bathroom? I would totally do it. <laughs> and I would tell everybody, dude. I would tell everybody. I would like, you know. You know what? In retrospect, I'm coming around. Are to you it. kidding I'm coming me? Right around. Now. Come on. Let's not be ridiculous. Can we stop this? We would all tell everybody. Yeah, all right. How could you not? Okay. Well, so in this scenario, then George Clooney would have to ask me to suck his penis. Sure, I might be a little bit more proud that he picked me out and asked right, me. Right, right. But, mm, I mean, I anything less than that, I'm just a cheap, dirty whore. It's still a cool It's still a cool story to be like, yeah, I bumped into George Clooney at this fucking cocktail party, and I was like, hey, let me suck your dick. And he was like, okay. And I did, dude, right there in the broom closet. <laughs> dude, no man is going to say no to that. I'm sorry. That's not True. impressive to me. Yeah, um, but this isn't no man. This is George Clooney. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but he's still Mr. just a Fox. man who just wants his dick sucked. <laughs> he's a fucking dapper Dan man. You know what I mean? So this is your just dad. illustrating to me, Elsie, <laughs> that Nick has never tried to suck another guy's dick. Uh, no, but one guy did very vehemently want to suck mine, though. Uh, and you, remember you said that? no? That was actually, it was years and years ago. He was like, try no, somebody got my number. And like, yeah, was like trying to get me to let them suck my dick. They're like, come on, man, 200 bucks. I'm like, I'm not going to fucking pay. I don't want my dick sucked by you, and I'm not going to pay 200 bucks. He's like, no, I'll pay you 200 bucks. Like, let me. You should have been a little sugar baby, man. No, I was scared. <laughs> I was scared. I was like, who are you? Yeah, I don't know whatever happened with that. I, I remember <laughs> I told him to go fuck a landmine, and he did not like that. He wasn't, you know, he was like, well, fuck you. I'll fuck you up, pussy. And I was like, all right, well. I think this That's concludes this interaction. I think this concludes business negotiations. Right. 2000. Hey, you're starting to get my attention. 200. Yeah. Come on, man. What am I? Yeah. Like right, Elsie right, says, right. a cheap, dirty whore. <laughs> right. She's Listen, much we're pro like sex work in this house. Oh, okay? sure we are. Well, but it's got to be good work. I don't care if it's sex work. It needs to be good work. Right. You know what I mean? It needs to be well compensated. I'll tell you that. Yeah. You want if a George good plumber, you want a good me. electrician. Yeah, I mean, if I got paid $1,000 to suck George Clooney's dick, then I'd talk about that's, it. That's, of course, that's wild. But if he's like, I will pay you $1,000, I'll pay you $1,000 to suck my wee-wee in this broom closet yeah. all day long. I'll give you Are something you extra. Me? I mean, I'll stick it in my nose, whatever the fuck yeah. you want, dude. <laughs> Pull out the phone, man. Who cares? Fuck it. Well, this uh, is great. I'm glad that me, I don't need to get paid if if Scar Joe's like, yeah, go ahead. Munch up. You know what I mean? <laughs> You'll do that <laughs> on the house. Just on the 
Yes. All day long. <laughs> on the house. Free grass. Like, yeah. Only one condition. Can I get a picture? It doesn't even have to be your face. Just my face. You know, just <laughs> that's for me. That's for me. And nobody will ever know. You know what I'm saying? Other and than the do. people you tell, of course. Would that not be the one shot, the one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted? If there was ever a time to go fucking ape shit, you know what I mean? What if you, that could be like the ultimate Cinderella story? You know, the glass tongue. What? Oh okay, so God. like she recommends you do all her friends. Is or that no, like she's like, damn, no, I cannot let this guy get away. Oh yeah, yeah okay. Like, and I'm then you become again this. the sugar, the sugar. Baby. Right, yeah. but you've left your tongue laying around on the ground. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's yeah, like, you had to whose tongue off. is this? <laughs> <laughs> and there are men off to the side just chopping their fucking tongues off with cleavers and the hope. Right. Oh, that it's going to fit into that glass prosthetic that I have. Right. For, from a completely unrelated separate story that is also crazy, but is not this story. And then I come up and I can't talk, obviously, because half my tongue's gone. Right. But the prosthetic fits perfectly yeah. on your little nubbins. She puts it on there. Boom, it fits. And I say, shall we retire to the toilet, my lady? <laughs> it has to be in the bathroom. I mean, for it, real. Yeah, for her. It, it's a step up from the, you know, from the closet. For her. There's something about it. You know, I don't know. <laughs> Somehow it knows. But you says. do say, my lady. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Shall we retire to the toilet, my lady? <laughs> <laughs> to the urinal? Oh, it's the man's toilet. Shall we go to the see. Shall we wow. retire yeah, to the Yeah, that's where I want to get licked out in a dirty ass yeah. urinal. <laughs> All yeah. right. Well, that's great. Yankee Stadium. That's just <laughs> terrific. It really it is, is nice for George Clooney and ScarJo to know that they have alternatives to their current yeah. relationships, and yeah. that those and Angelina Jolie. Let's of not course, forget her. Sure. Yes. She's free from yeah. all of us. She's on the house. <laughs> yeah, we wish. Any That's members. on the house, front, back, top, bottom, whatever you need. <laughs> Triple foam polish, whatever. <laughs> Try generational, even. Yeah, yeah, uh, you can get crazy with this. <laughs> <laughs> But in your any imagination event, is the limit. That's Seriously. right. And definitely no charge. None whatsoever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Call us, Angie. Yeah. Yeah. Give we've, us a call. We've done this bit stuff so, so, so many times. It's never not yeah. funny. And yet she's still hot. I don't yeah, know what you and want. Yet she still hasn't hit us up. I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what do we have what to a, do around here? What a shock. Yeah. It's very well, surprising. How, what, I mean, yeah. apparently gave Betty such a good orgasm. She died. Come yeah. on, Angie. Yeah. Apparently. Busted Apparently. to death. Allegedly. Busted to the bone. Well, good. Good chat, guys. Yeah, it has been. That's good. That's good family. This is the good quality content people subscribe to us. That's all right. It's all about family. That's right. Yeah. Fun, family, faith, and football. Fucking. No, I, no, no. Football. <laughs> That's the implication. No, that's that's no. their suggestion after no. we ply them with cheap wine and fine cheese. No. <laughs> all right. Love you. Bye. Love you, bye. All right. Love you, bye.